three, two, one, mic and cue. Hello and welcome to Cabrini TV News. I'm Pete Piscotti. <laughs> In the news today, the 210, gym, the 210 gym class of gym instructor Helen Goodwin was interrupted for about half an hour when a foul ball landed in the yard of old man Gus Lowenthal. Lowenthal said he was sick and tired of it and he's going to get those college varmints. Okay, also in the news, classes here at Cabrini go on and on and on and on as scheduled, especially Mr. Chris classes. More news from Cabrini's class of 89 right after this. students who are having trouble with their classes. Many years ago, Dr. Arthur Young wanted to create a place where students could require additional help, the care center. Students can walk into the care center and receive help in any subject, and the greatest part is that most of the tutoring comes from student peers. As Dr. Young explains, there have been many success stories linked to the center. The first semester she was at Cabrini, her cum was 0.4. And we really thought this was going to be like rearranging the deck chairs on the Titanic. But she was able to graduate with a 2.3, and that's something that made me very, very proud and very happy. A lot of the success stories come uh, because people are just unsure of themselves. Some of them are coming back to school. Some of them have math anxiety. And when you begin to see people taking little steps to overcome these things, they're all success stories. Man, this stuff is impossible. I'm never going to get done. Yeah, if I was a teacher, go a little something like this. Yeah, yeah. First I'd kick back, 
enjoy myself a nice Garcia Vega, oh, the class would love me. Did it! <laughs> Oh my god, look what time it is. I'm never gonna make my test. Welcome back to Cabrini TV News. A tragedy on Cabrini's campus this day. Library assistants this morning found a small child in the overnight book return. The child was evidently left there by a student teacher from the children's school. The child had reportedly been acting up in class and the distressed student teacher lost her patience. The child was reportedly in fine medical condition, however. Reportedly, it had eaten several stolen periodicals in its overnight stay in the book return. However, the student teacher was less fortunate and spent the evening at Haverford State Mental Institution. It may come as a surprise to some, but going to class, parties, and cram sessions is not all there is to do at Cabrini. If that's all you did at Cabrini this year, here's what you missed. Over the past four years at Cabrini, we've grown immensely, not only academically, but also in the events and activities that we have participated in. This has helped us to become liberally educated and also to enjoy some of the best years of our lives with friends and fellow students. Let's take a look at some of those events.
Now let's take a look at sports here at Cabrini. And just trying to get to those campus events and classes can be a hassle. For example, traffic on campus was tied up early this morning when two Cabrini security guards collided. The accident took place in the parking lot near Sacred Heart Hall. No one was injured, but traffic was tied up for hours as commuters rushed to their 8.30 classes. Up next, here's a look at the life of Cabrini commuters. Sitting in traffic jams. The thing I hate most about commuting is the long ride. Um, parking and I guess, well, almost accidents when people go down the wrong way. I think what I hate most about commuting is having to drive home half asleep in the middle of the night in the dark. The no parking. Parking a mile away. <laughs> the cuisine <laughs> that we enjoy <laughs> here at the lunchroom. Going home after a 3.30 class at quarter of five and having to deal with all the work traffic on Route 320. Getting up at 6 o'clock in the morning to get on a trolley with a bunch of people you don't know. At 8.30 I have to be up at 6.30 instead of just rolling out of bed at like 8.25 to go to class. The long ride.
Steve. 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 Uh, uh, hello? Hello? No, Steve. What? No, you going to brunch? What? what? You coming to brunch? Uh, no. No, I had a really bad dream. Oh, okay. Well, would you like me to bring you something? No. No, the food's horrible. No way. It, it was a nightmare. Total nightmare. Forget it. Birds, damn, birds. Welcome back to Rainy TV News. I'm still Pete Pisconti. <laughs> Changes in the dorm configuration this year at men residing in houses 1, 4, and Council Hall. It was recently revealed that due to excessive damage, the buildings will be leveled and then renovated. Up next, graduating seniors are in the news. Cabrini TV News was there to get that, catch that fast-breaking story. Who would have thought four years ago that we would be graduated today? It's true our college years have come and gone, but we have plenty of memories to last a lifetime. Whether it was freshman year or senior year, you'll remember the good times. It seems like just yesterday we were partying in Xavier and sneaking into Woodcrest. Now we're hunting for jobs and paying off student loans. There are many faces that have changed over the years, some we will never forget. Whether they were good times or bad times, times have changed. most after graduation? I think I'll miss the lifestyle of college after graduation. There's not many times in your life that you get a day off in the middle of the week and you can sleep until 11 
or stay up till three. I was, uh, always living in a close proximity with my friends and always having them around. I miss, hey, I'm going to miss all the girls, the friends I, I developed. I'm going to miss the green grass. It's a nice campus. I'm going to miss the teachers. They taught, taught me a lot during the years. I'm going to miss my coach, Zeke. You know I'm going to miss Zeke. And uh, that's about it. Yes. Wrap it up. The memories of the good times. Hello, everyone. I'm Jeff, and uh, this is Jeff the Chef. In order to make a proper sandwich, it requires four items. Just in, several upper, upperclassmen that reside in Council Hall are being held for questioning regarding a missing piece of equipment. It seems a construction crane was reported missing early this by workers early this morning. The crane stands about 200 feet high, weighs approximately 5 tons, and is valued at almost $200,000. Campus security has yet to locate the piece of machinery, but, but claims they have a feeling it is in somebody's room. So where has the time gone? A lot of seniors are saying that. For four years, flown right by. Are they really ready to face that hard, cruel world? so fast. Just a few years ago we started as freshmen. Look at us now. The last convocation, the last senior farewell. The question is, where do we go from here? Luckily, many seniors know exactly what they want to do after they graduate. Uh, yes, Harvey, uh, DeBella, Howard Stern, all of them. Just, uh, they couldn't handle the thought of me coming into the market with them. I'm going to be simulcast on every single radio station in Philadelphia. I'll be making about $5 million a year. I, I would like to be, um, maybe a children's book illustrator. Or, um, I'd really like to work maybe in a museum in the education department. I have a background in education also. And I might want to 
take the little kids on tours and things like that. Work for about a year and go to grad school and get my master's in human resources. And eventually I'd like to do consulting with training or compensation and benefits. I know what I'm going to do after graduation. Well, now I know what I'm going to do after graduation. Um, you got a job here, right? Right, they offered me a job. Um, so it's, a, it's really a relief. It's a lot of strain and pressure off of off of me. Hello, Suburban Newsroom. and internship programs, many seniors were able to get valuable working experience. Sometimes it even led to a job offer and full-time work after graduation, like for Grace Luizzi. Uh, I got the co-op. I went to the co-op department and um, they have listings of different jobs. And I saw that genetics was one of them, so I was really interested in that. So I decided you know, to try it out. And they sent my resume to them, and they sent a cover letter. And then um, they called me up. Metagen called me up, and um, they said, I'm putting you in an interview. I went to the interview, and they called me back, and they said that I got the job. <laughs> Stephanie Giardini and Mary Beth Beckett worked at Wyeth Airhurst in Radnor for their co-op experience. This experience at Wyeth Airhurst in their audiovisual department was really a great opportunity for me to learn all the things that I never really had a chance to do. It was a great deal of work, but as you can see, it was also a lot of fun. And sometimes you just had to let loose like Sean Humphrey. 1989 was a great year for dances and parties, but there were also a lot of homeless people on the streets of Philadelphia and impoverished homes in West Virginia. Cabrini students spent their spring break helping out the poor people of Appalachia. Mike Stevenson describes his experiences. In the uh, past few years, I went to Daytona Beach uh, for spring break, but um, I started getting tired of that. I wanted to do something different and a little more meaningful with my life. And I thought uh, a good way of doing that would, go, would be to go down to uh, Project Appalachia and experience some more of the world, something that I haven't seen before. Seniors have also worked to perfect their skills in the arts. In photography, Greg Beck took first prize for black and white print in Cabrini's annual photo show. In painting, Maria Watson explains her interpretation of Jonathan Livingston Siegel. That's the black one is him on Earth, and then he gets lighter and lighter and higher and whiter as he gets more free. What do all these people have in common? And it's not that they are all laughing with Sraline. These people are the recipients of the Who's Who Among Colleges and Universities Award. All these achievements and many more are what will impact the future of the world.
that just about wraps it up for the entire Cabrini TV news team and the, and the seniors. I'm Pete Bisconti, and we're out of here. See ya.